welcome to my channel from cheap to chic my name is Sharon if you are already subscribed to this channel thank you so much for coming back to watch this video I truly truly appreciate it if you are not yet subscribed I hope that you'll find something interesting enough in this video to make you want to stick around I like to do different hauls from different stores and I like to do some crafting and today I'm doing my last craft for Panda Haul Selected these nice beads that I got they're so so cute and the different colors I've got bunnies in here and stars and candies so like you could use these for all different like you know holidays and things like Christmas for the candy and things and then here's some of these little flowers so I was watching the channel the other day Cannot remember what her channel name is, but I do believe her name is Navasha, if I'm correct. I will put it in the description below. She's so, so talented when it comes to like the journals and tags and paper, paper things like that. And so she made a paper tassel. And the very first paper tassel I ever seen was with Liana It's a Deal, and I will put her channel down below too. So I'm going to make my very first paper tassel today. Now I was looking at fringe scissors and I'm going to get a pair of them. I'm going to use probably like my 50% off coupon as long as I catch them not on sale at Joann's and get a pair of them. But this is what I'm going to do today. I'm going to cut it myself. I had found this paper a long time ago on clearance at Joann's. I think I paid 25 cents a piece for it. And I don't know what this material is, but it's more like a, maybe a wallpaper or something. So I decided I'm going to make my tassel with this paper. And so I'm just going to score it and I'm going to cut it. So... I you go you need to leave a piece on the top so I'm going I want mine to be a little longer cuz I'm going to add some things there so I'm going to go at one and a half from the top of this piece of paper this is a 12 by 12 paper so you do not I don't know if I need it to be that wide but I, I'm gonna I can always cut that so I'm gonna leave it that wide for now Okay, so you're gonna start at your line here, wherever you decide how much room you want left at your top. And then I'm gonna go half an inch across. Whoops, I made a mistake, but okay, that's okay. I'm gonna cut that off anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna go at a half an inch We don't need that piece. All right, let me turn this. I can probably see better back here.
Okay, so of course it is not perfect, but that's okay. So we are going to take this. This is where we cut that one little piece off. And we're just going to twist. Oh, it's so pretty already. Okay. Then I'm going to glue this. And I don't think I want it to be quite this long. Although it is very, very pretty this long. But I think I'm going to go in about right here. Oh, should I? Should I leave it this long? No. All right. And I wanted to use silver, but since it's got the gold here, um, I'm going to use gold. And the reason I wanted to use this paper is because this paper has all these different colors in it that will go with these beads. So, okay, so this, the gold was too thick for the beads. So, we'll go with this cotton twine. take some glue
And I'm going to take some water and just spray this down just a little bit. Get that to calm down a little bit. Okay, I'm going to leave this dry for just a little bit. Okay, so see, I just love the way this has come out. It is so pretty. I love these beads. So what I wanted to do was... So this is going to be the front. So I want to take right here on this front one just on a few of these add a little bit of pearls so I don't know how this is gonna look it may totally mess it up who knows <laughs> little pearls and I don't like to use the sticky stuff on the back So there is the tassel with the Panda Hall selected beads. I think it turned out so pretty. Um, maybe I shouldn't have sprayed the water on there. I thought that would calm them down a little bit, but I think it curled them up. But uh, I'm wondering what it would look like if I put these pearls on every tassel. I don't know. I don't know I just wonder so you got your beads here your beads up here oh, I just think it's so cute I wonder if I should put something here I'm thinking what about a bigger pearl there got this get the back of that cut off I think that looks pretty cute with that on there. Too much bling, not enough bling. What do you think? I don't know. I think it turned out pretty cute. And I love this paper for the tassel. And I love the pearls on here. I just wonder should I put pearls on each, on some more of these outside layers? You guys let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, maybe you all know how to calm the little paper tassels down a little bit more. I think she turned out very pretty. For my very first paper tassel, I love it. All right, I appreciate everybody who has watched these Panda Hall selected videos. Um, I really, I know it's taken me a while, like to apologize to Panda Hall selected. Uh, I was very, very ill for about a week, so it has taken me a while to get these finished. But I had a lot of fun trying to come up with things to create and uh, use these dyes and beads and things for, and. Um, it let me try some things that uh, I've been wanting to try and just haven't done. So, oh, don't forget that there will be a um, discount code. I will put that in the description along with the links to all these items that I used. And a discount, you get 10% off of your entire purchase 
with my discount code off the already low prices of Panda Hall selected products. They are the prices are low, and if you are into the die cutting, the prices are very very fair for the dies. So, uh, thank you all once again so much. I appreciate you all. Thank you.